Hi, this is Lisa Allen, and today I have something really special to show you that I know you are going to love, especially if you are working as an offline consultant or doing work for local businesses. Now, you probably are already aware of how mobile apps are taking off, and some estimates are that within just a few years, there will be more searches using mobile than desktop PCs. So you can see that this is really where the whole market is going and where your marketing should be going. And you probably have already looked into some really high-priced app builders like I have. And maybe, like me, you thought that the investment was a little too high or the apps didn't work quite, quite right. Maybe there weren't enough platform options or templates. Or you didn't like the way that some of the app building platforms lay claim to your apps. If so, you really want to take a look at Sean Spellman's new app platform, Pillar Apps. Now, Sean has graciously given me access to play with the live app builder. So just to show you a little bit of what you can do with this app builder, I'm going to give you a short tour of the features. And then I'm going to build a little app for my chiropractor with it while you watch. So what we're looking at here is the starter templates. And you can see that Sean has a ton of templates already created with basic features for different types of apps. And when I first looked at this yesterday, there were only 10 pages of templates, and today there are 11, so Sean is still adding templates to this. Now, one other very nice thing about these templates is that Sean has also given you add-on pages that you can easily add to the app if the template is mostly right, but you want to add some other features. All you have to do to get started is to pick one of the app templates by clicking the Select button and then give the template a name. So I'm just going to thumb through and find one that's suitable for my chiropractor. So for this app, what I'm going to pick is just the Business app, and I'm going to click Select and then click on Use Template. And then you have to give your application an ID. So I usually just give it something meaningful. So I'm going to just say Brimhall. Brimhall Wellness, perhaps. And then click on the Create button. And you can see right here that I'm looking at the iPhone version. And if I wanted to build an Android version instead, I just switch the drop down. And now the really interesting thing that I thought about this is that you see we've also got iPad and Kindle. So he's really covered a lot more bases than I've seen covered in a lot of the other app builders. And yet the price is still just ridiculously low. You'll be really surprised when you see what the price is. So let's say that I wanted to build an Android. And it just shows it on a Nexus S for now as the device display. So the first thing that I really want to do is get rid of this logo and replace it with my chiropractor's logo. And so you can just upload those to the resources. Just click on resources, click on upload file, and then you just want to pick your file. And you can see now that this has been uploaded here into the resources for the application. And then you just click Done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Design Properties. And you can see here that I've got the app name and the text for each of these tabs, like Home, Services, News, About Me. And it's easy to change right here. You can also choose the different icons for the tabs. And you can change the background image and the background color as well. Now I should also mention that you need to look and find out what the file is already named in the application because it expects the new branding to be named the same thing. And so the old image that was at the top of this application was named headertop.png. And so I just renamed my image to headertop.png and then replaced it when I uploaded it in the resources. And you can see now that this branded image with my chiropractor's logo is showing up here in the preview. So then maybe what I would want to do next would be to edit the About Us page. And you can see here that we've got some Latin-esque stuff and some social icons down here at the bottom. And so what I would do is I would go in here and I would actually edit this page and just click on Edit Pages. And you can see here I've got the tabs that I can edit so I can edit the tab 1 HTML, tab 2, tab 3, and tab 4. So all of these different things that are linked here, I can actually edit these from right within here. Let's just click on Edit there. And now we're using the first tab HTML. So I can either do this in design mode or I can get at the HTML for this directly. And you can see that this is really flexible. You can move stuff around. So if I go over into the HTML, you can see that I can get directly at what is in here, the different tabs, and I can change the text here. So maybe visit us. 
And then I might change that tab to where it had the, their address in it. Go back to design and you can see that it's changed that to visit us. And you can take out any of these tabs that you want just by editing the HTML. So here's the different menu items also here. And you can actually change the item properties down here if you don't want to go directly in and edit the HTML. And once you're done with all the changes that you want to make on that particular page then you just click save. And then click done when you're done. And now I did mention that you could add new pages if you want to. You can see down here there's a plus and a minus and a little thing to duplicate the selected page or rename a page. So if I wanted to add another page, I've got all of these different types of different pages that I can add to my application. And there's different menus that you can add, different styling there, and then you've got different HTML type pages. There's also search pages, shopping cart pages, all kinds of different stuff here. You've got polls. So it really, really is flexible because you can actually go in and there's even these native pages. So any of the templates that you find that are just, you know, just about what you want, but maybe you want to add something extra, he makes it really, really easy to add that using these extra pages. And then of course they're all fully editable as well. So if you want to change the graphics or the colors or the backgrounds, they've even got a QR code scanner pages and book pages. So any of that stuff that you want to add, is you totally can make just about any kind of application that you want in here. So now that I've showed you around the interface and how flexible this app builder is, I wanted to talk to you a little bit too about the pricing. And so with regard to the pricing, the first thing that I really noticed when I was looking at the pricing is that Sean says that there are no hidden fees or gotchas in the pricing. And he has really set up the pricing on what I really think is frankly a ridiculously low monthly subscription fee, which means the risk and cost of entry into getting into app building with this particular system is very low. And for that single monthly fee that Sean is asking, you can build an unlimited number of apps with unlimited push notifications included. So I asked Sean some questions on my own today about the pricing model and the ownership of the apps and the updates, just because I really wanted to be clear on what was included. And what Sean told me is that if you keep your subscription for three months or longer, if you stop your subscription, the apps all still work, you just won't be able to update them anymore. But if you want to quit sooner than three months, then there is a simple $10 per app buyout fee and then the apps will all still keep working but you won't be able to update them. So just to sum up, there are some really great features in this app builder and it's lacking most of the pricing and ownership gotchas that I've seen in other app builders. Plus, it is highly customizable and will produce apps for the iPhone, iPad, Android and Kindle. And the price is just fantastic. So if you're looking to get into apps for your clients, I think you'll really love Pillar Apps. And you know, just click the link below and go take a look. So that's it for the demo and review, but I had one last thing to tell you about, and that is my bonus package for Pillar Apps. So in the bonus package, I actually have four great training products on mobile marketing. And the first one is called Superb Mobile Marketing. I also have a training program for you on how to make profit from iPhone apps. I have a mobile simulator to use on your website and also a product called Mobile Marketing Madness. And these will all give you a leg up in how to sell marketing products that are mobile marketing products and services and how to market your apps profitably. So that's it for this video. Oh, I should also tell you how to get your bonus package. As always, step number one, purchase Pillar apps through the link below. Step number two, forward your whole PayPal email receipt to me at bonus at lisagadgetsgeek.com. And step number three is that within 24 hours, I will send you your bonus package straight your email. Easy. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.